What's up you guys, it's your boy Flips. Welcome back to Moran TV. We're going 3D vibes, step up 3D. Do you guys know that there's a step up high water series right now on Stars? It actually started on YouTube. It's doing really, really well. Hats off to them. We're gonna go back about 10 years before that and get into the step up 3D and the step up saga series. You guys ready? <laughs> Shout out to my boy John Chu. He's been hooking it up, man. Two, three, four, keep them coming, John. Here we go. So getting into this video, Step Up 3D highlight. It's like the best parts that I love because I'm in them. But check this out, here we go. Let's go. I mean, you, you walk into a building like that where everybody's just dancing, it's a wrap. That's like a dancer's dream warehouse. Also, Step Up 3D was the very first 3D dance film ever. Crazy, flips fun fact. Sorry, I had to throw it out there. Here we go. Oh, flares all day. Four, five, six, seven. I had to do like 10 flares every take. That's crazy. I love this part because Rick Malambri, Rick Malambri, the actor, is actually editing me head spinning in the movie as a part of the movie. How crazy is that? Thinking out of the box, John Chu, get it. Front and center, head spins. This part actually in the water, we shot about 14 to 16 hours daily. It was insane, it was insane. The crazy part is most people don't know, once you get wet, it is like, it, it's like, double the weight of your clothes. So um, yeah, uh, we got pretty buff after this scene. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. We were dancing in the water. It was about two to three inches off the ground, but because I do the head spins, my, my head and all the way up to like my eyes was like in the water and I was spinning. And I remember coming up and like the water coming down. I'm like, oh my God, I don't know how many times I can do this. Let's go. Here's a flips fun fact. Those suits were all black with just green dots on them. All, everything that you see with the lights was um, After Effects and CGI, so that's kind of crazy. Everyone thought those suits were actually lighting up or that we had controllers and it was just these um, black um, under armor with all these green dots and all that stuff was done in post. Crazy, right? Let's go. So even in the credits, check that out. Uh, Sharni Vincent, shout out to Sharni. She's so awesome, the lead actress in the movie. Um, they did this as well where they used um, like like behind the scenes, almost like B-roll and they inserted it in the credits. So these were what we call ciphers, where you're just dancing and you're vibing off of people's energy while the track was playing. And John Chu did such a great job to utilize all of this footage and somehow insert it into the movie. Brilliant, brilliant, awesome. I remember vibing. It was like we had no idea it was going to end up in the um, in the closing credits. But hey, let's go. And again, look at the video footage. So John. Chu let us use a regular camcorder, which then they they um, extracted the video from it and actually put it in the movie. I think that that's brilliant. It still uh, is relevant today where everyone is like grabbing their phones or grabbing their GoPros and shooting and inserting all this footage. I think it's great. Two step, two step, two step, two step, two step. So I have to pause it here because um, that is not me dancing, that's Jay Smooth killing it with the finger tuts. But every time I do a film, um, people always ask you and they don't stay till the very end, right? As soon as the movie's over, they go, they grab some popcorn, they go to the bathroom. However, once your name is on the credits, you made it, it's like it's so legit. So the cool part about it is that John Chu asked me, uh, do you wanna use your name Flips? And I was like, yeah, let's use Flips with a Z and he put spins with a Z because in the movie, I'm always spinning and I thought that was clever. So he 
put the name spins instead of flips. So hats off to you. And I still use that every time I do like a head spin or a move that actually rotates or spins. I put S P I N Z spins. So that's a little um, flips fun fact. But yeah, always stick around for the credits because if your name is in the credits, you made it. So check it out. S P I N Z Ivan flips Velez. Let's go New York, man. Let's go. Give it up. You suck. What? Well, take it from the kids, guys. Maybe uh, 33 movies later, I should hang up my dance shoes. That's crazy, right? Step up 3D in New York. It was incredible. Like that three months of my life was beyond surreal. Um, getting the actual call, it did come from John himself. Uh, he had put together a team called the LXD, the Legion of Extraordinary Dancers. I remember meeting him in um, Santa Monica and he showed me the pamphlet of laying everything out of what was gonna happen. It was incredible, like to the T, that's exactly how it went down. We got sponsored by Puma, created the LXD. There was Step Up 2, Step Up 3, Step Up 4. There were so many projects coming um, just from the idea and the, and the brains of one guy, uh, there was the Academy Awards. We did the Academy Awards. All this spun off the Step Up series uh, from John Chu. So thank you so much. Dude, you've been such a blessing. I have no idea. The gift that keeps on giving is uh, John M. Chu. There was a tour. We went to China. We opened up for Mini Cooper. Uh, that also happened like there was just this um, Snowball effect that happened once the step-up series caught on. Thank you Adam Shankman. Thank you Disney like Disney took it on board as well and um, Everything that came after that was are you available for the Teen Choice Awards? Are you available for Miley Cyrus? Are you available for Justin Bieber? Are you available for this? Are you available for Mini Cooper? It was pretty insane how once you're ready and you're riding that wave, um, the wave that was the Step Up series and the saga that led to the LXD and everything after that, it was absolutely insane. It's a wave I never ever wanted to end. <laughs> so, but yeah, for all you dancers out there, if you feel that tide changing, always be diligent to work, work hard, take your classes, do everything that you can to align yourself with that type of stardom. Because once you catch one of those shooting stars, it's a wrap. Like you, that I, I want to say Step Up 3 was my 15th film of, of my career. And I just finished uh, The Spirited One was my 33rd film. I only wanted to do one, just one movie to get me in the door. But once you do everything right, and you meet the right people, again, uh, John Chu, Scott Ehrlich, Adam Shankman, these people that can align you and they see where the trend is going. So shout outs to uh, Step Up High Water. They're now, listen, we passed that torch. Those kids are doing their thing. Thank you to the production that is um, constantly uh, renewing, revolving, and revamping what needs to be put out there, the way the content is being put out there. Huge shout outs. because. Right now, the content isn't an hour and a half. It's like 22 minute episodes and they're, they're killing it. So shout outs to Step Up High Water. So yeah, man, bittersweet, Step Up 3D, so awesome. Make sure you guys click subscribe, click like, turn on those notifications. Come on, show your support. Miran TV, we're holding it down. Make sure you guys stay tuned. There's definitely more coming from me and Description box, I dare you to search for the 20 tutorial links. It's in there somewhere. There's 20 tutorials, all the moves that I've ever done in any movie, any commercial, they're all there for free. Click on the link, Miron TV. It's your boy Flips, I'm out.